To password protect your workbook from somebody opening it without the password or even to modify it, or you can do a combination of both, you need to go ahead and do a save as. And you can do it by coming up here and clicking on the file tab, going backstage to save as, or let me hit back. If you don't have it added to your quick access toolbar, you can see in the pop-up you can hit the F12 key on the keyboard and it opens up the save as window. Then come down here and click on the tools drop down arrow and go to general options and there you go password to open and to modify. First let's do to open go ahead and type in a password I typed in pass P-A-S-S -S, hit enter then I'll ask you to type it in again to confirm it then hit enter again and now that it's set to the workbook you need to go ahead and save it so you can go ahead and overwrite it with the password and say yes. Now it replaces the old workbook with the new workbook that has the password tied to it. So when we close out of it, and it's in my exercises folder on my desktop, double click to open it up, and there's the workbook, double click. There you go. If you don't have a password to open it, then, well, you can click cancel and you just get the shell of the program. So if we go ahead and minimize that and double click on it again, and we do have the password, hit enter, now we have full access. Now if you need to make changes or modifications to the password, even removing it from the workbook, then go ahead and do a save as again, hit the F12 key on the keyboard, or of course click on save as, or go backstage to save as, and then come down here and click on tools, go to general options, go ahead and remove it by deleting it, clicking OK. Be sure to go ahead and replace the workbook with the changes and say yes. Then you can close out, double click to open it up, no password needed. Let's go ahead and do it again. Save as, Tools, General Options, and let's do Modify. Let's do Pass, hit Enter, Pass, hit Enter. Go ahead and click Save to replace the workbook with the password, then say Yes. Let's go ahead and close out, and then go ahead and double click to open it up, and there you go. If you have the password, you can make changes to it. If you don't, you can only select Read Only. So you can see up here in the title bar, we only have the read only part of the workbook. So if I try to make any changes to it, hey, what's going on here? Well, it allows you to make changes to it, but when you try to save it, it's going to force you to do a save as. In other words, you can't overwrite the original because the original is read only. So when you click OK, it opens up the save as window and it says you either have to change the name so it doesn't overwrite the original document, or you can keep the same name, but you have to save it in another place. So if I select that to keep the same name down below, I can't save it in the same folder as the original. I have to go outside of it, like my desktop, and click Save, and then it'll save it. So I can go ahead and close out of here. Minimize this down to the taskbar, and there it is on my desktop. Double click, and that's the copy that I saved or made changes to it because the original, let me close out, and restore my exercises folder. Remember, when I double click on it, if I do read only, I can't overwrite the original. But if I do have the password and I type in pass, hit enter, it opens it up and you can see up here in the title bar it's not read only. I have full access. I can go ahead and make changes to it. Let's go ahead and click on save as, tools, to general options, and let's add a password to both. So we have a password to open and a modify, click okie dokie, and then type in the password again, hit enter, click save, and say yes you want to replace it, close out, and let's go ahead and open it up. Now it says first of all do you have a password to even open up the document? Well we do. Then when we type it in hit enter it says okay. Now that you can view the document do you have a password to make changes to it or can you just view it? So if you don't have that second password it can be the same password but it wouldn't make sense. I made it the same password to keep it simple. In any case pass, hit enter, now we can go ahead and make changes to it as well. So you have a couple layers of security there if you'd like. A password to open, and then if they can open it, whether or not they can modify it. And then again to go ahead and remove all that, click on Save As, Tools, General Options, and Delete, Delete, click OK, click Save to accept the changes, yes. Close out, open it back up again, and you no longer need a password. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.